Hello and welcome to GSC at Home. My name is Saba and today we're going to talk about corrosion through a really interesting experiment with some pennies and some cola. To start with, what is corrosion? Well, corrosion is a natural process where materials like copper, zinc and iron are able to react chemically with their environment, so that's the air and water around them, and this causes them to physically change. Most often they react with the oxygen in the air, and this causes a new surface layer to form. This surface layer is more chemically stable, however it can be quite destructive sometimes. You've most likely seen corrosion on iron gates and railings, or your bike if you've ever left it out in the rain. When iron or steel corrodes, they form something called iron oxide. Iron oxide is a reddish brown flaky material that forms on the surface of these metals. And it's called rust. Rust can actually be quite damaging to bridges and buildings. When something rusts, it flakes off and this exposes a layer underneath to further corrosion and this can eventually wear the metal down. Copper on the other hand is a little bit different. If you have a look at these pennies over here, copper in the pennies reacts with the oxygen in the air to form something called copper oxide. Copper oxide is more dull compared to shiny new copper, which is why these old pennies look tarnished and dull. Copper oxide, however, is a little bit different than iron oxide. This is because copper oxide doesn't rust or flake off. Instead, it forms a protective layer over the metal copper. This is why the copper coins are not subject to further corrosion and it protects them. As the copper is exposed to air over time, it gets duller and duller and eventually it can even turn green. You have seen probably copper corrosion on structures like the Statue of Liberty or the rooftops of some buildings. Did you know the Statue of Liberty wasn't always green? In fact, its copper was brown like the pennies. We can actually clean the copper oxide that's formed on top of these old corroded pennies. And in order to do this, we need to soak them in liquids like cola, for example, which are acidic enough to strip off the copper oxide layer. You only need a little bit of cola to do this. However, you must need a lot of cola if you wanted to clean the Statue of Liberty. Can you just imagine how much cola you would need? For this experiment, we're going to need a shallow plate or bowl, some old corroded copper coins, the older the better, some cola, water and a kitchen roll. To begin with, we're going to lay our coins out flat, side by side, on a shallow plate. Now, I'm going to pour some cola over the top of these coins, just enough to cover the surface of these coins, so that they're fully immersed in the cola. Now, I'm going to leave this overnight for at least 12 hours. I wonder what's going to happen to the copper coins overnight. What do you think will happen when we come back tomorrow? Good morning. Let's have a look at our pennies that we left overnight in the cola. Let's start by taking them out of the cola and placing them in a bowl of water. Now this is to rinse off all the cola from the pennies. You can either place them in a bowl of water like I'm doing right now, or you can rinse them off underneath the tap. What we're gonna do now is Take them out of the water and lay them out on this kitchen roll I have in front of me. Just lay them all out side by side and then we'll have a look to see what's happened. Let's look at our pennies. Has anything changed? Yes, our pennies are no longer corroded. They're actually quite shiny. Why did the cola make our pennies shiny? Well, this is due to a chemical reaction. The first chemical reaction we talked about turned our shiny pennies dull whereas this chemical reaction turned our dull pennies shiny again. How would you describe the taste of cola? You might say it's tangy. That's because cola contains something called phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid reacts with the copper oxide on the surface of the pennies and it causes it to dissolve away. That's why you get shiny pennies. Most fizzy drinks actually contain acids. And these acids, when they come in contact with our, the enamel on our teeth or the outer layer of our teeth, they can cause something called acid erosion. Acid erosion is a process where the acid in the fizzy drinks wears away the tooth enamel. This is an irreversible process. Our tooth enamel is not like our hair. You can't grow it back. So that's why it's really important to look after our teeth. If you try this experiment at home, please send us your pictures also, why not give it a go with other acidic liquids like lemon juice or vinegar or apple juice as well? 
and let us know how it works out. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.